Hello everyone and welcome back to Warrior Cats The Untold Tales and I am finally back from vacation and that means we are able to dive back in and see what Apple Shadow and Apple Clan is getting up to here in the beautiful New Leaf. Apple Shadow managed to survive the very very harsh and terrible winter that was really threatening to destroy him after he was kicked out of the clan that his mother had been part of kind of for his mother's sins from when she was alive and accidentally killed some of the young warriors of River Clan. But now we're, we're starting to get things uh, we're starting to get things going. He's having a much, much happier life. We're lighting up a whole bunch of thickets and a whole bunch of moss. So we have already got Rain Pelt as a member of our family now, or I should say a member of our clan. Hey, I found the den here and I thought you might move. I, I thought I'd move in. You don't mind, do you? And thank you guys for pointing out that if I want him to stay, then I do need to press enter to let him stay. And now hopefully Rain Pelt will, will stay all the time. So, okay, good. Yeah, okay, so Rain Pelt should be with us, but yes, thank you guys so much for your patience. I was actually gone on vacation, and make sure to watch the update vlogs if you want to know what is going down with our beloved Warrior Kitty Cats, so that you know when their stories will be coming out to you guys. But enough of that blathering, let's go ahead and talk to this rogue over here. We'll go ahead and let them stay, but I can't see what the name of this rogue is, so let's go ahead and see if we can convince this rogue. Um, let's see. We're gonna have them follow us. Come on over here, my friend. Oh, it's Crow! Oh, I don't know about this, though. Crow, Crow looks pretty awesome. All right, Crow, hold on. Let's see if we can get you to hold still, my friend. And can you can you just stay right there? Oh, or is Crow going to show up at this spot every time? Oh, I see how it is. So how you place the moss is going to determine which direction the cat or like where the cat will be. So there we go. Now we've convinced Crow to face down. Uh, or I guess we could have Crow and Rain Pelt kind of like face towards each other. It looks like I accidentally used the uh, special abilities. No, I have used my special abilities for the day without meaning to. But look at this, Apple Shadow, we can pretend he can jump up here and now he can talk to Rain Pelt and Crow. I don't know about that. This looks like a very, very light colored cat. It's not going to be our mate since in order to have a mate as a rogue, you need to go out and you need to snatch a shiny thing and drop it down on the moss as we have done. And thank you guys for letting me know if I really want to start attracting more of the rogue into our clan what I need to do hmm, can I pick it up yes what I need to do is drop the prey the fresh kill down onto moss that is right next to a thicket so we'll definitely get there but all right oh and let's start the day by going ahead and we'll eat something really quickly so that we're feeling good oh that didn't fill up very much all right let's go ahead oh wait do I have two mice eh, that's a little bit better all right and then we'll get a little drink next to our apple tree which I really really love I think it's really fun that we have a little apple tree right next to us and then let's go gather up some more thickets so Rain Pelt can be talking about the rainy, rainy days of New Leaf and can visit with Crow here. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. I can't wait to get more members of the clan. All right. And I can't wait to get away from... Oh my gosh. You guys are just sassy. You know that? <laughs> I can't wait to get away from Thunder Clan. They are always all over the place. Oh, Apple Shadow, we stepped on a branch. We stepped on a branch first thing. But yes, if we want to have a mate for Apple Shadow, which it feels a little early to be thinking about a mate for him, but just in case we do want to start uh, considering what kind of amazing mate he could have and how his story... Oh, there's a big fight going on. Well, Apple Shadow, he's pretty good. It looks like it's a fight between <gasps> Ooh, Brook Rose and Fishpool. Oh, and there's Ash Heart. Oh, oh, and there's a, there's a little rock. I want to grab that shiny stone. All right, no, you don't. All right, snagged it. All right, got a smooth stone. And you guys made me going, but Siri, why are you so excited about the smooth stone? But I've heard if you grab the smooth stones, you can actually start making a bridge across the water. So we're going to experiment with that a little bit too. And let's make sure we wiggle out of here pretty soon because this is the the little like oops yep we want to get out of there really quickly <laughs> that area always seems to have some of the cats fighting but apple shadow has heard rumor or at least come up with this idea um no you guys you guys can duke it out i don't i don't want to be involved in your fight but he has heard rumor of this idea that you can possibly take these smooth stones oh my goodness Oh, look at that! And you can make a little bridge out of them! That is so cool! We'll have to be working on making a bridge so that Apple Shadow can find places that the clans haven't even thought about going. Man, that's a brave set of uh, Prey Tell and Birch Heart there. That's a brave set of Thunder Clan cats trying to take on River Clan like that. Because that doesn't look like there'd be enough cats to do that. 
So I think Apple Shadow is noticing all of these territory fights and all of these clan fights, and he's realizing that if he is going to help out, can we, oh, you guys, look at that. We got a cross. If he is going to help out his new clan, and he's probably still a little tentative about thinking of calling Apple Clan a clan, but if he is going to help out his new clan, he needs to come up with clever ways that no other cat in any of the four clans has ever thought of for getting around the different territories. So it makes, oh, and there was still snow coming down. That's adorable. So it makes a lot of sense that he would actually think about um, picking up rocks and kind of experimenting with that whoops and let's go ahead and get out of here all right and no more brambles but apple shadow is going to be quite the experimenting cat and i think he's starting to feel <gasps> what is this who are you panda spirit oh i think you change i think panda spirit can actually change your coat even when you happen to be a rogue <gasps> let's come and talk to panda spirit you guys maybe apple shadow it's a new life he's happy he has got a couple cats that he knows for the first time who are outside of the clan territory outside of the clan hierarchy he may be able to found his own clan that's an idea that's really starting to wake up in his mind he is really thinking about how he can make a happy life outside of the clans and probably for the first time feeling a little happy in his life feeling a little bit happy and safe again so maybe maybe we should mark the occasion with a whole new pelt let's see what panda spirit says oh hi hi i haven't had a customer in a while pardon the mess i'm just super excited that you're here and might want to try out something i've been experimenting with dyeing pelts lately and it's going pretty good but i need practice can i dye your pelt for you i can change it to any pelt color that you've unlocked so far Pretty, pretty, please. All right, so let's go ahead. And now I can change. Oh, I could change Apple Shadow's pelt color if we wanted to. So he could look like his mother, Ren Feather, now. Hmm. We could change his eye color if we wanted to. You know, I don't think I don't think Apple Shadow would really change too much, you guys. Uh, I think I'll just go back to his normal his normal coat color because we don't have anything else unlocked. Oh dear, we'll have to remember to unlock more of them in the future. So let me go ahead and we'll stay, we'll stay at this one. And then eye color, he'll still have his little green eyes. There you go. So we met Panda Shadow. That's so fun. I wonder if there's a way to continue to unlock things as a rogue. Probably not. So you probably want to play on one save file as a cat who has explored um, all of the different abilities and unlocked all of the clans and unlocked all of the different pelts before you become a rogue if you really want to have a rogue that can have all the bells and whistles and change their coat color and things like that. All right, let's ca come and talk to Trainer Tune. And do we have any more experience points? We sure do. All right, so I think he would want more experience in healing because I want to see if we can somehow heal some of the other clan members that we now have. And finally, I think Apple Shadow, I think he's really tough after having to have survived on his own or survive on his own for so, so long. While he was wandering around the winter waste, I think that he actually, oops, sorry, I need to have him get a little bit of a drink from this very wet moss here. I think that he would actually be really um, tough and the fact that it's a cold rainy night doesn't really bother him. And he's more interested in looking around, ooh, there's some more of the brambles, that's what I was looking for. And gathering up brambles, gathering up mice to take back to his new clanmates, ooh, we're gonna run for it. And I think he has a bit of a talent when it comes to just zipping away from the clan fights like that. All right, I'm going to drop this one apple because I need more brambles. And this is Gray Storm. So this is the cat that we can actually come and talk to if we want to get Apple Shadow back into Thunder Clan. But I think, I think for the first time in a very long time, Apple Shadow is pretty happy. We're going to keep moving without getting attacked by a mouse pool. Oh my gosh, what happened? Oh, I think it was just a change of the day. <laughs> I was so startled. I was like, what just happened? All right, let's go ahead and make sure we can block this. Need to try to line the thickets up. Ah, it's so hard to line thickets up. I keep getting them a little bit too far apart. Gosh darn. Hmm. Well, that'll keep the cats out at least and kind of give us a way to spy on ThunderClan. All right, and then let's go ahead and I'm going to eat a couple mice. And can I go ahead and sleep? Ah, uh, dang it, it's too late to sleep. But we've at least, let's see, can I heal up any of the cats that are near us? I guess I have to have them in my group, but it looks like Rain Pelt is becoming a little bit more healed. Maybe we can go on a hunting expedition. Let's see it, let's talk to Rain Pelt and Crow and let's see if we can take them on a hunting expedition with us. All right, let's see. Hmm. 
So we're going to tell these two to come and follow us. And let's see if we can go hunting with them. Maybe we'll be able to find something really good. I'm not sure what it's like when you hunt with multiple cats. So we're going to give it a, a little try. All right. Come on, Rain Pelt. Come on, Crow. Let's see if we can start gathering up some food. We'll see if they're skilled at this or not. So far, it's just a bunch of sticks. No, keep moving. Oh, I keep moving. All right. We're going to... Oh, I keep moving. <laughs> we're pursued by all sides. Oh, you guys. It's a mouse. Oh, it got away. Rain pelt. Maybe they're not very good at hunting. And there we go. So we got one little bit of food. Can you convince them to hunt with you or is this mostly for like protection? Oh, there's a mouse. Come on. Ah, you got away. <laughs> All right. I think that we'll mostly leave these two. We'll mostly leave them at camp, but it's nice to bring them with us so that we can show them what clan territory looks like. Come on, you two. Oh, thank goodness. We're back at camp. <laughs> All right, it's way too dangerous to, to bring them with us. So I'll go ahead and just leave them here where they're nice and safe. And actually, I think Apple Shadow likes it that way. Maybe these are cats who are weakened in some way. Maybe his entire clan is actually made up of cats who need a little bit of extra help. I wonder if there's something. We'll look at this moss just so that we can get a little bit of the taste of fresh prey if from the moss, if nothing else. But I wonder if Crow and Rain Pelt, and we'll need a new name for Crow. So if you guys have an original character cat who you think looks rather like Crow, and Crow could be a male or a female, and you think would fit into Apple Clan, then be sure to leave a comment with the name and maybe a little story and a little role play of what that cat is like. And I'll use a random generator to try to pick one of those names in the future. So that way we can start adding your guys' characters in as original characters to our Warrior Cats clan. I think that's going to be really fun. We're going to do that in our Sims 3 Warrior Cats clan, and we are going to be doing that with our Apple clan. All right, looks like it's finally a little quiet over here. I can try to do a little hunting. Good grief. All of the... Ah, no! Silkar, why? Yeah, we didn't probably pick the best spot in the world to take over for our clan, but I feel like Apple Shadow just belongs in the forest and not really in the open fields up by Wind Clan or the Gorge. All right, darn. And the mouse got away again. Because I do feel like he's a cat of the forest, even. Aw, man. Even if we're having a bit of trouble uh, proving that, because I can't seem to hunt anything. All right, Apple Shadow, we've got to start collecting up more prey if we're going to take good care of all of your clan mates. So let's get on it. And I need to leave some more prey down on some of the moss so that we can see. Let me go ahead and drop that. So we can see if we can attract any more cats to our clan. Apparently you can get like dozens of them, which I think would be very fun. Oh, darn it. Missed that bird again. All right, let's see. Can we find a mouse? Oh, 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 there's a mouse. Perfect. Oh, we got it, yes, all right. So there's a little mouse right here. I think I saw another little mouse down here a second ago. He's not very good at, oh! No, they destroyed my brambles! I think it's kind of funny how Apple Shadow like dashes for the brambles before anything else. He's getting used to being very quick-footed to get away from the aggressions of the other clans. I think that's why he doesn't mind that he attacked a apprentice. I think he killed one of the apprentices. It was really sad. I think he killed one of the uh, Thunder Clan apprentices. But I think he's just coming to realize if he's going to protect his new clan and protect the the poor cats who are in his clan, who probably oh yeah he's got one thicket now, who probably have some sort of like dramatic backstory. Who knows what Crow's story is? But I kind of like that idea that Apple Shadow may gain a lot of strength. Uh, not from like stray aggressive cats who want to pick fights and attack other cats, but maybe from cats who've just been lost or rejected. Like maybe Rain Pelt just got lost ages ago and he doesn't really know what to do about it. Ah, Silkheart, leave me alone. All right, let's get out of here. Or maybe we should just tell Silkheart what for. Eh, eh, eh. All right, we told Silkheart what for. Bam, we're so strong. Apple Shadow is really becoming very, very powerful. Possibly because he has to take care of so many of his clan mates and he can't really rely on anybody else yet to help him hunt. Hopefully we'll be able to find some warriors that we can say are semi-decent hunters though. All right, anything down here? Nothing down here? All right, well, we're gonna run back to camp. Even if this is a contested area. I wonder if I can put thickets down. Can I put thickets down over here? 
to like, ah, it doesn't look like I can put thickets down over here. To be able to keep uh, the, the Thunder Clan from coming after us. All right, let's line one up right here. So we'll have a little entrance. La di da. Ooh, there's an apple too. Let's grab this piece. There we go, another bramble piece. Wonderful. And we can come and maybe put the brambles. Can I put the brambles like down here? Nice, kind of at the entrance to help hide it. And it looks like Rain Pelt and Crow are talking. So I get the idea that, that Rain Pelt may be a cat who kind of got lost from uh, his two legs. And then we'll go ahead and eat this bird. And actually we'll eat one of these dead mice. And maybe Crow is just one of those cats who maybe was born between rogues and loners and some of the clan members. So Crow may know about clans, but maybe not be part of clans. So we'll have to see what happens. But we're going to we're gonna continue to grow our little Apple clan. We're going to see what kind of adventures Apple Shadow will get up to. And we are going to look for a shiny thing. So hopefully we can have a mate at some point. But I think that this is finally, finally, finally a very, very happy phase of Apple Shadow's life. And I'm really looking forward to him having a good time not having to be pursued and hunted and chased down by all of the other cats maybe working on some special projects to build bridges out of stones so that he can adventure through the clan territory like never before and of course building some more stories with the other clans and some new cats that we'll be having soon thank you guys so much for your patience while i was gone on vacation i was gone all of christmas week and that is why we ran out of some episodes. I'm very sick now. I unfortunately caught another cold coming back. So it hurts to talk. So I will... Ooh, let's get out of here. So I will try to record what I can because I am so eager to share these stories with you once again. And then we'll have to see what adventures we can get up to next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.